Hey, Union readers, welcome back to another episode of Word on the Street. I'm Rob. Today we're coming to you from the Briar Patch Co-op here in Grass Valley. You know, one of the things that I love about living in Nevada County is how clean and beautiful it is. I grew up in the San Joaquin Valley, and uh, it was not beautiful or clean. In fact, every time I visit, uh, I get my allergies, or what I call my valergies, and uh, it's just not good. It makes me sick. But even though you live in this beautiful, clean place, we know that there's some stuff that still makes you sick. And that's what I want to know today, Union readers. What drives you nuts? Uh, the Congress. Why? Because we've elected these... I better clean it up, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I, would, I would love to not have to you know, repeat myself. You know. Sorry, can you start over? Oh, kids running around in grocery stores with pacifiers in their mouth and they're five, six, seven years old. They just need to ditch the binky. Oh, absolutely. Just rip it out. Absolutely. It's like a little grenade. You just pull it and then... One thing that really gets me are slow drivers in the fast lane. Give me a break. Scoot over, let the rest of us go by. You're holding us all up. All the negativity is around. And uh, I hope that we can move into a more positive era now that we're in 13. David, maybe we could start with some positivity right now. Can, can I hug you? Hey, 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 <laughs> Rob. I'm standing here with? Kyle. Chase. Nice to meet you. And uh, so tell me, what drives you nuts? What drives me nuts is uh, I walk and ride my bike everywhere, but I see people speeding, accelerating towards the stop sign, and then they slam on the brakes as they're getting closer. Does it happen when you're in the crosswalk? Uh, in the crosswalk, out of the crosswalk, uh, on the side of the crosswalk, above the crosswalk. How do you do that? Just sweet, sweet jumps? <laughs> A bridge. Oh, that. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, or a sweet jump. Sweet. sweet. Jump. It'd be nice too. Yeah, that's sweet jumps are always pretty sweet. Yep. What about you? Is it something about dad? It is my dad. <laughs> this is kind of like the anti Dr. Phil. We're breaking families up. Good times. Thanks for watching, everyone. <laughs> best friend, too. Those are the best friends, the ones that challenge us. That's right. Mm -hmm. Bad drivers. Ooh, elaborate. Go. People who drive in the fast lane and they go 25 miles an hour. Mm. You spend a lot of time on the 49, don't you? My boyfriend does, and he tells me about it all the time. So really, your pet peeve is your boyfriend complaining about traffic. Don't try to mix my words up. I said there was the drivers. <laughs> Scooter kids at the skate park. Scooter kids at the skate park. Why? Go. Because they're annoying. They're annoying. Why? Go. They're getting in the way. They get in the way. You hear that, Scooter kids? And they pay like $400 for their scooter. What's wrong with that? Don't, Don't waste some money. Why? Maybe they want a sweet scooter. Yeah, but you could be spending money on so much better stuff. What would you spend $400 on? Go. Brownies. <laughs> I knew it. So, Micah, member owner here at Briar Patch, tell us a little bit about it in case somebody lives under a rock and they have no idea what I'm talking about. Well, being a member owner at the Briar Patch Co op, or indeed any co op, uh, REI would be a great example, means that um, as a patron of the business, you, um, you actually own a portion of the business. It's, essentially, it's like owning a share of stock in the Briar Patch. And there are loads of benefits therein. So you can't go wrong. You, you really can't go wrong becoming a member owner at the Briar Patch Co-op, or indeed any co-op. So let's say somebody wants to come over here to Briar Patch Co-op. Where would they find you when you guys open? The Briar Patch Co-op is open seven days a week. Count them, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And uh, we are open from 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. every single one of those days. Please swing on by at the Briar Patch Co-op. We would love to help you out. And uh, Briar Patch Co-op, uh, community endeavors kept in the mind at all times. That was beautiful. Thank you. So there you have it. So let's talk about what we've learned today. Number one, the best friends are the ones who challenge you. There's nothing funny about that. It's just true. Number two, there's a lot of slow drivers in Nevada County. So everybody at the same time, just hit the gas. It'll save us a lot of time. And if you see Kyle in a crosswalk, don't worry about him. He's got some sweet jumps. Number three, we all need more positivity. And that may come from more hugging. So if you see me in public, just come hug me. Just do it. We'll see what happens. Just do it. Who cares? Hey, for all the latest news and entertainment in Nevada County, make sure you stay tuned to theunion.com, like their Facebook page. And until next week, I'm Rob, and that's the word on the street.